Hi students, my name is Mr. Beverly. It is a pleasure to be visiting Krista McAuliffe Middle School today and talking to the band and chorus students. Your music teachers have invited me to come and help you with your fall fundraiser. You will receive today this big fundraising packet envelope. There's some instructions on the front of the envelope. You'll be filling this out later, but inside the envelope, there are three special papers. The first one is a color catalog called Southern Delights. We'll go over this in detail in a moment. There's also a letter that explains the fundraiser for your parents and when the, the money is due back in and who the checks for all your items sold or made out to. So that's on the letter. Then right now we're going to be dealing with the special form. It's called the OR Fundraising Order Form. Now, everybody, please take that out of your packet and with your black or blue metal tip pen. If it's a felt pen, it will not work very well. And we're doing this carefully for five to six minutes because when you turn the orders in, it's very important that this information at the top is filled up properly. So at the very top left-hand corner, right up at the top, maybe your teachers will have this on the screen so you can follow along but up at the very top left hand corner there's some blocks with your black or blue ink pen print your last name one letter per block very carefully in all caps big letters please in those blocks do that and don't go any further and then we'll stop and I'll check something for you okay we'll take about one minute while you do that. Okay, now that everyone has printed their last name up here in the top left-hand corner, I want you to do this. Pull up the white sheet and look and see if your letters went through clearly on the yellow sheet. If they did, then you did a good job. Lift up the yellow sheet and see if they went through good on the pink sheet. That's correct. Okay, now if they did not, you will have to do it again, press harder, bear down a little more so that all the, the copies get done. This is a three-part special form, so you only have to write on the top copy, and if you've got the right metal tipped pen, then it will go through all three copies. Now, right across from there, there is a place for blocks for your first name. Again, all capital letters, one letter per block, please. Take your time. And we'll do that. Now, as you're finishing up that part, right underneath your first name, there is a space for an evening telephone number. Here's why we need that. Sometimes your customers, not you, particularly, but your customers will write down an item that they'd like because every one of our items in the catalog has an item number, four numbers, and they might write down the wrong number. Well, your teachers, your course teacher and your band teacher do not know who your customers are. So if there is a discrepancy when we process this because we're going to run your white copy through a scanner, then another lady's going to go through and manually check your orders and in, actually enter them in manually to double check. And then another lady will go through and triple check your orders to make sure they're right. If we run into errors, we can't call your teachers because number one, they're busy teaching your classes. Number two, they don't know who your customers are. So put an evening phone number. Very good. Okay. Now, Go back over under your last name and it says teacher name. Print your teacher's last name. We don't need Mr. or Miss. We just need their last name. Again, in all capital letters. Okay? 
And then right under your teacher's name, you're going to print the school name. And I'm going to leave it up to your teachers as to if they want to do an abbreviation for C, M, M, S, and then space, chorus, or band. You, you, I'll let the teachers tell you what the abbreviation is there. If it's Krista McAuliffe Middle School Band or Krista McAuliffe Middle School Chorus. We don't have enough room to write all that out, but we can abbreviate. C M M S band. You got room for that? Believe we'll a space in between the school name and band or chorus. <clears throat> then, right underneath that, it says grade. Do not put your grade unless the teachers instruct you to put the grade. Uh, we prefer period numbers, but if your teachers know the sixth grade students are all in a separate period, the seventh grade students are all in a separate period, that's fine with us. Uh, because they they will have a teacher envelope and a class envelope to put everything in listen to your teachers They'll tell you if they want you to put period one period two or if they want you to put your grade there Okay, cool now. Let's pretend for a moment That I'm your first customer if you look at the sample order here It says John Doe and he's got two 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 three 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 well, I'm gonna be mr. Beverly five 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 six 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 you printed my name under him if I'm your first customer. And then, let's say I look through your wonderful catalog. The first page shows that beautiful variety four-pound cheesecake. But I open it up, and I see one of my favorite items here, chocolate chunk cookie dough. Okay? That item number is 3260. So you will write that in the item code column. And then I will probably tell you I want two boxes. So you put the number two times the price of the item, which is by every picture in the catalog, and then that's how much I owe you. If I buy more than three different items, you just write my name down again on the second line. Maybe I buy three items and my wife buys some items, and that's the way it works. Now, the only other thing we're going to ask that you do to help your teachers out is once the fundraiser is over, down at the bottom, it has a place for you to put how many items you ordered, and be sure to count all three columns. If you notice, there's uh, selection number one. Does everybody see that? Please notice up at the very top, selection number one in red, selection number two, selection number three. So there's three columns you will be adding up at the end of the fundraiser to help your teachers, and you'll put the total items sold down here, and the total amount of money you have collected on the fundraiser, okay? Very good. Now, leave this outside, away from your, your, your desk that you're writing on, or your tablet that you're writing on, or your stand, and let's fill this big envelope out. Organization name, again, if you abbreviate it, let your teachers tell you what to put there. Then print your first and last name, on this envelope, you can put your grade. It doesn't matter to us on this one. And then your teacher, and then the total amount of money collected. Once you get this totaled up at the end of the fundraiser in two weeks, you will put that amount on here, and that will help your teachers and whatever parents might be helping total the fundraiser, get that total before they send us the order. Now, you may keep the pink copy of the order form if you'd like to keep for your records. You want to turn in the white and the yellow to your band or chorus teacher and then they're going to send me this white copy. We will put this white copy along with a list of the products you have sold inside your box or your bag. If you sold a few items they will be in a bag. If you sold more than six or seven items you'll get your own box with your name on it. And that original order form with all your customers listed, everyone will get that original form back. So I have a form, your teacher, your band or course teacher has a form, and you have a pink form that you and your parents can keep if you'd like, okay? That's how it works. So we're gonna get started today, and we're gonna take two weeks to sell as many of these delicious products as you can. 
Now on the front cover, we show our variety cheesecake. It's a four pound big box with 14 individual slices in the cheesecake. And you can see it as you look inside. The first few pages of the catalog show our delicious cookie dough. The cookie dough comes in pre-portioned boxes. Like this is the candy cookie, like M&M cookies, M&M candies inside the cookies. And all the boxes have two trays of 24 pre-portioned cookies. So you just take them out, break them off, put them in the oven and bake them for 11, 12 minutes. And you got a perfect cookie every time. They're all delicious. And you see all the different flavors, chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, macadamia nut, uh, chocolate chunk pecan. Then we get over here into some other items. We've got even a combo box where we have half the box with 24 cookies is chocolate chunk. And then the other half are, let me just ask you guys, how many of you like s'mores? Oh my goodness, we have seven grandkids and every time they come over this summer, or did this summer, we had to have a little fire in the backyard and make s'mores. Well, these s'mores cookies, this cookie dough, I love to eat it raw, just like my grandkids, but it is the most delicious cookie I've ever had. And you can buy them both. You can have half the box is chocolate chunk, the other half is s'mores. And then we have peanut butter and snickerdoodle cookie dough as well. And then this picture features the giant four pound, it's actually four and one quarter pound cheesecake, 14 slices. There's strawberry swirl, there's turtle, tur you know, chocolate caramel pecan cheesecake, there's New York style, and there's triple chocolate cheesecake all in one. And then the next page of the catalog features some pinwheels. We have a chocolate pinwheel, which has a Dutch chocolate cheesecake. It has a chocolate chip cheesecake. It has a chocolate marble cheesecake and another triple chocolate variety. So that's the chocolate pinwheel. Then we have the fruit pinwheel for people who are into fruit. We have pineapple, strawberry, blueberry, and cherry cheesecake for the fruit pinwheel. And then we have those for those people who are just big New York style plain cheesecake. We have a cheesecake there that is 12 slices. Other than the large four and one quarter pound cheesecake that has 14 slices, all the other cheesecakes have 12 slices. It's all pre-sliced. So you just take your little serving knife or serving tray, serving uh, fork, and pull it out, they're already pre-sliced. And we have a chocolate caramel pecan that's famous for be, being known as turtle. And then, how many of you like real chocolatey, fudgy brownies? Okay, well we have a, a box of brownies called the Rocky Road. I know my oldest granddaughter, who goes to school down in Dade County, she loves Rocky Road ice cream, and she also loves the Rocky Road brownies. I think when we were testing them out this summer and family was around, she ate half the box. So it's already pre-made, and all you gotta do is thaw it out when it comes to you frozen, and just slice it and serve it up. And then on the back page of the catalog, we have the, the pudding cakes or bunt cakes. I'll show you a picture. This is one of my favorites, the lemon bunt cake. Look how big this thing is. And it's almost three pounds of, of pudding cake. Really delicious. That's the lemon. We also have the one that looks like chocolate, but we call it Mississippi mud because it's got nuts and, and glaze on top. We also have another one that's got coconut and nuts called socket to me for those people who like those. But all of those items are pictured on the catalog and every item like like my favorite the lemon bunt cake is item number three four five two so not only would i probably buy some chocolate chunk cookie dough and some s'mores cookie dough the combo from you i'd probably buy a lemon bunt cake and fill up one whole line of your order form for just me so that's how it works when people order you print their name down and then give them the item number that uh, assigned to the item. They're, they're not going to say, order me item 3452. They're going to say, order me one of those lemon bunt cakes. And you will write the item number down for them. And like I said, it's almost a three pound cake along with all the other items, starting with the beautiful picture on the cover 
of the four and one quarter pound variety cheesecake. And I'm here to tell you boys and girls, that will be your number one seller. Number two seller will be chocolate chunk cookie dough. It is everywhere we go, but our large variety cheesecake has been number one seller, no matter if we're selling it in Palm Beach County, and in uh, Escambia County up by the Panhandle, no matter where we go, our variety cheesecake is a super popular item. So you wanna share that with everybody you know and trust, and obviously you wanna share it with your parents. You wanna share it with teachers here at school. A lot of times when we come back for delivery with your items, sometimes the school personnel like around the cafeteria will say, what are you delivering, sir? I'll say, we have boxes for the students that sold cheesecake and cookie dough. And they'll go, when did they sell that? And I said, about a month ago. So you wanna make sure that everybody at school, all the teachers, all the school staff, especially those cafeteria ladies, hear about your fundraiser. Go see the principal. I bet you, your principal likes to eat. How many of you like to eat, <laughs> right? Dumb question, right? I know you're middle school and you're smarter than that, but you know what? Everyone loves to eat. Now, how many of your parents work with other people that like to eat? Another dumb question, right? Get your parents to take that to work and you'll have great success. And by the way, every one of our products are kosher, 100% certified kosher, so you wanna make sure that you let everybody know that. Any rate, share it with everybody you know. Share it with your grandparents. Share it with the people you go to activities with. How many of you do sports and activities outside of Krista McAuliffe? Pretty much a lot of kids. My, all my grandkids that are in school do other stuff, sports, and my granddaughter's into uh, uh, doing some volleyball at the outside of school. So at any rate, it's really fun to share this with everybody because everybody looking for a nice dessert item, especially as we get closer to the holidays. We're gonna be doing this for two weeks. You'll turn the forms and your checks and money in in the big envelope that I shared with you earlier. Everything comes back inside the big envelope here, including your checks. People can't pay with cash, but if you collect a lot of cash, give it to your parents and let them make a check out to the school so you're not carrying a lot of cash around. Turn this in in two weeks, and then about three to four weeks later, you'll be receiving your items. You'll have a box with your name on it of the items you sold. Like I said, if you sold seven or so items, you'll get your very own box. If you sold three or four, you'll get a bag to carry your items in, but they'll all be in your bag with your name, your original order form, and a nice computer printout to go along with it. And then I wanna know how many of you think over the next two weeks between your parents, grandparents, your parents' work, and people they know at work, you could sell eight of these delicious frozen food items from the cookie dough, the cheesecakes, the bug cakes, the pudding cakes that we call them. How many of you think you can sell eight items? Raise your hand. Okay, cool. Well, guess what? When you do, you get to go into Mr. Beverly's money bag. And what's in the money bag? When you go in after selling eight items, you get your very own nice wallet. It folds, you can keep it in your pocket, but inside of every wallet, there's some cash. In this one, it just happens to have a $50 bill. Anybody here be willing to sell eight items to win a 50? Okay, cool. Now, knowing that there's that kind of cool cash inside the wallets, how many of you would sell eight more? Because when you do, you get to go in and pull another wallet out of the money bag. You get to keep the wallets no matter how many you earn. And in this time, oh my goodness, this one's pretty special. Look at this. How about a Benjamin? You get to take home your very own $100 bill with this one. How many people would sell eight to go win 100? And who would keep selling to get another eight, okay? You go again. Every time you do eight, you get to go again. This one has a five, okay? And you have everything from $2 bills all the way up to $100 bills in my money bag. Okay, so everyone that sells eight is gonna win some cash. And like I said, it's everything from $2 bills up to $100 bills. And we give a lot of cash away. I was telling your teachers that my wife and I decided when we started the company that we would give a lot of our profits 
back to you guys so that you would be excited and motivated to go out and help help your group sell the products but you'd also be so happy with all the things you won you'd want your teachers to ask us back that's our motivation now remember share this beautiful catalog southern delights with that big giant cheesecake on the front the cookie dough and all of the varieties of cheesecake including the variety one the chocolate pinwheel, the fruit pinwheel, the, the uh, chocolate caramel turtle, and the New York style, and those delicious, delicious giant lemon pudding bunt cakes on the back. So get started today. Let everybody you know and trust, and that's the only rule that I have on this fundraiser, is that there are no strangers allowed. Only the people that you know and trust. Get started today. You got two weeks to do it. Your teachers will keep announcing and checking up on you daily to see how you're doing and asking you how many of you sold. And I want to encourage everyone because I want to bring lots of these nice wallets stuffed with lots of cash for you guys at Krista McAuliffe Middle School. Have fun. Be safe. I'll see you real soon. Thank you.